Yo, what's up YouTube? Just going to do a little post-match review for the Leeds vs Arsenal game. Leeds 1, Arsenal 4. Yeah, big win. Big away win up north. We needed to do that. And we did it. What a performance by the lads. We are top four for Christmas now. We have sealed it, sealed the spot. I know teams have some games in hand, but it was really important to just get the points on the board, put the pressure on the other teams to try and catch up with us now. We're in the top four now, so we need to try and stay there and just keep keep there now because it's been so long since we've been in the top four. Now, this is our chance now to uh, to get Champions League football again. So we really need to be consistent now. Our next game is against Norwich. I, I don't know if it's home or away, but realistically, that should be another three points. Don't want to be too arrogant or too overconfident, but if we play like we did last three games, then yeah, that should be uh, should be another win. So yeah, it was an amazing uh, performance again by Martinelli. He, scored, he got a brace, two goals. The first one, they uh, we won the ball um, in their box, tackled them, and then straight to Martinelli, and then bang, just a top corner finish with his right foot, tried to he curled it, amazing goal. And then uh, to make it 2-0, it was basically a carbon copy of uh, the goal against West Ham, pretty much. Except this time he, he dribbles in one-on-one -on -one with a keeper and uh, he chips the keeper. The keeper went to ground and he chipped him. So it was a brilliant finish by Martinelli. Incredible performance. I don't know if he got mad of the match, but he probably deserves to be. And then um, Saka ended up getting the third goal. He played really well again. Another great game by him. We had uh, so many shots on target. I think we set a record for a first half. I think it was 11 shots on target, Premier League record. So... That's incredible for us, especially away from home. So yeah, what a what a performance that was. And uh, Saka ended up getting the third goal. It took a little deflection off the off the defender, but uh, it was still on target anyway. And he he was onside in the build up. They checked it on VAR, and he was onside. So that made it three nil. And uh, the Leeds uh, fans, you know, the, at the start they were up for it, but uh, we silenced the crowd pretty much. And Martinelli giving them the old. Yeah, we can't hear you now. It's the fans singing, you're not singing anymore. And then we're singing, Saka and Emma Smith Row. We like it, we like it, we like it. So yeah, it's brilliant. And then, um, unfortunately, we couldn't keep the clean sheet. Uh, ben White, he uh, slide tackled someone in the box. He took him out. It was a bad challenge. It was a penalty. And uh, what I loved was Ramsdale giving up the old clap, uh, trying to con the ref, saying, oh, yeah, great tackle. Yeah, he got the ball, got the ball. But uh, <laughs> it didn't work. But oh, it was just brilliant for him to even try and do that. Just the the tactical nous is just incredible. The fans would love Aaron Ramsdale. Do, 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 do. Aaron Ramsdale. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, it's unfortunate for him. He couldn't get a clean sheet because it was a great penalty by Rafinha who could have scored one earlier in the first half. He uh, dribbled, he, he took uh, Kearney, uh, Tierney inside, uh, but he missed the target on that occasion. So Rafinha, probably the best player for Leeds at the moment. I know they've got a lot of injuries. They've got Calvin Phillips out, they've got Bamford out, etc. But that's uh, that's part of it. And uh, I was saying, you know, which Bielsa is going to show up? Is it going to be uh, the master? Is it going to be the dodgy guy in the bucket? And it turned out to be the dodgy guy in the bucket because he tried to do these weird tactics of the centre-back following Lacazette in the midfield. And, uh, you yeah, know, that just left space for all, the, uh, for all the other attackers and wingers and we exposed them. And we really punished them for, for their poor tactics. So, yeah, they really need to learn from that. Otherwise, they're going to end up being relegated because it's a big fight for them at the moment. But, uh, yeah, and then uh, the man of the moment... Smith Rowe comes on as a substitute again and scores another goal. That's two and two from the subs bench. Incredible. What a player. Just a great um, assist from Odegaard. Odegaard had a great game as well. They uh, showcased him on match of the day. So he really did. He's really performing well. 
it's so hard to get them both in the team at the moment because they're both playing exceptionally well. And, um, you know, it's a good, it's a great problem to have, like I said in, the, in one of the last videos. So it's a great uh, squad depth we've got at the moment. You know, Thomas Partey is playing a lot better in the midfield as well. You know, Granite Xhaka, he did his usual Xhaka, tried to get a red card. He, he studded the guy. I mean, it probably was a yellow and he got away with it somehow. I don't know how he got away with the yellow card because the uh, Leeds player did exactly the same challenge and he got a yellow card. So Xhaka, he's always got something dodgy in him. So he's got to be careful, keep concentrated. And now uh, we move on to the next game versus Norwich. And we are in the top four for Christmas. So yeah, Merry Christmas to all you gunners out there. And uh, happy days. Let's keep consistent and let's keep in the top four.